Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall again. Let's do some uh, packet capture today and observe the packets uh, into the uh, Wireshark. So I'll be performing the packet capture for example uh, say uh, I have some host here say my PC and here is some of my gateway say my checkpoint firewall so what i'm going to do i am going to hit you know uh icmp packets uh with say uh, thousand packets per second or whatever the ratio is and try to see you know uh, how the packets hits to the firewall uh what happened to the firewall you know cpu uh memory uh this is the later part but for now we'll be you know hitting the packets and we'll capture these packets using win scp and we'll observe the packets in wireshark right uh this is a basic lab guys uh i wanted to show you like uh, how you do the packet captures what are the syntax for the packet capturing uh we have a two approach one you can use you know tcp uh dump command uh for you know each and every output and one you can use fw monitor command uh which gives you you know entire communication how happens i mean how it will happen with your firewall uh the scope of tcp dump is not for this lab uh, this lab i'll be showing whatever with the uh, mw monitor so let's begin so this is my uh, the ip address of my machine and my gateway has uh, ip address 192.168.1.101 okay so let's start so I have a tool uh, which is cool to generate a uh, you know traffic. So for example, here I have set up ping size in a byte, <laughs> uh, which is thousand, and it will hit every interval of one second. Okay. Uh, this is the IP address, which is my gateway IP address, and this is my gateway. And let me show you the command this is the command uh let me give it a name one for now so the command in, uh, says you know host is 192.168.1.211 is my source host and what are the packets coming from that source host uh will be having the you know uh, uh will be capturing the icmp traffic for that uh you can either use uh, your source host or you can use your uh, gateway it's up to you uh capture is the syntax and make sure guys you should not have a space here okay now let me start the capture okay sorry for this wrong wrong command entered okay this is the right one So here if you see there's a zero packet right now there's nothing happening uh i'll be when i start here capturing you will see the packets increasing there uh, before that let me show you where i am right now so present working directory is a log okay and there's no such file is generated like this guy so let me show you that also okay there is no such file okay that is a proof that we are generating a new file let me run the capture now so this is the syntax and zero packets and let's start the capture and as you can see the packet size is increasing here so let it be the packet capture for say five seconds five to ten seconds and then uh, we'll stop the capture and we'll get that file from the gateway to the 
uh, why should I can we observe the packet? Okay, so I think uh, enough packets. Let me control C to stop the packet capture and let's see if we have that file present now. Okay, the file is supposed to be like this. Yeah, the file is there now. Let me get that file out of the WinSCP. <laughs> so let me log into the WinSCP new session. 192.168.1.101. Give it the username and password. Skip. I just want to have the file. Okay, this is fine. Let's change shell for my admin. Not trying to gain. Let's go to the root directory from there. There is something where directory then log directory and I think uh, our file is this one. Right? So it's just generated now if you see 2212, 2214. The two say are too difference. Uh, this is my textbook. Uh, checkpoint trainings pickup files okay that is fine now let's go to the wire shark I think I have already running here let's open the file so this is the one <coughs> let me take this guy here and so as you can see all of the packets which we are talking about 192 168 let me take my pen so this is the my gateway address this is my pc ip address and this is the inspection points so if you know if you don't know how you can insert this field please go ahead and watch my video uh, for the uh, wire shaft how we can import these things and you will get how it is so as you can see now let me clear off the screen look okay so all inspection points are here so if you see, we are seeing O O O all are O I O. This big I also, small O also. So how the packet hits accordingly, those inspection point you will see. For example, <coughs> uh, let me talk in this way. So this is something like when the packet will hit to your firewall or hit to your firewall. When the packet passes your policies and your packet, you know, uh, go to the next level for NATing routing, you will see I. When you pass the NATing routing, whatever it is, you will see O. And once it goes to the inside your TCP IP stack or to the end system, you will see this O. This is as simple as that. I have a detailed video on this. Please go ahead and watch my uh, video on packet inspection. Uh, for now, let's understand the packet. So uh, let's see. So this is the ICMP packet. Uh, so this is the original packet from where the packet is come. And this is destination. If you look at the fields here, you will see uh, 
the time frame what is the frame length and everything so it's 1042 byte then this is my source destination this is the inspection point if you want to look more into this you will see what version of the packet it is it's ipv4 packet uh, this is the header length for the packet uh, this is the total length uh, so if you are using some sort of you know uh, what we call a QoS quality of service that time you will see this fills according to your setup so this is also important when you are doing the troubleshooting in terms of the QoS. Uh, basically guys, the purpose of this video is to make you show uh, the things which you can see well and what is the purpose of it. Uh, here it gives you the source address, destination address uh, and these are the top uh, things about the ICMP. Uh, which we have you know set up so this is all about the so this is the type it so whenever you do the uh, ICMP uh, kind of filtering in any other firewall remember the ping request is always type 8 I hope uh, you are relating this thing to the you know your with your previous experience uh let's see the data so as i i you know uh, told or uh, i already shown you that the the total data the ping size in a byte what we have transferred was 1000 and same you can see here so if you want to see or for example if you were under the attack like you know or say a DOS attack or DDoS attacks. Uh, that time you are generally observe this field, you know, this data field. Like at what level, at what size of data, you know, uh, getting hit to my firewall. What is what exactly happening with in terms of data? What is the data size? You know, uh, it's thousand byte. It's not big, you know, concern for us now. But consider if someone is hitting your firewall with say uh, one like byte, you know, or more than that. Consider that, you know, what will happen to your firewall? Mm -hmm. What will happen to your firewall? What will be the, you know, the firewall's uh, state? Whether it will hang, it will, you know, get down, whatever, you know, such sort of things. So these are the things you need to observe when you, you know, trying to observe the packets. And uh, this is uh, the source, what we are, you know, talking about the packet is coming and going, uh, I mean, coming towards. When we talk about the, uh, the, the reply packet, so this is all about the reply packet. So in reply packet also, you will see same details. Uh, responding what whatsoever with that uh, try to come here and see each and every field and as per your requirement you know observe the things so uh, these are the inspection point for the reply packet so if you see the difference so when the packet hits <laughs> this is a sending packet you will see the eye small eye because it's hitting to your firewall uh it is an inbound packet uh and when uh you will see same thing for the reply packet you will see uh direction is o that means the packet is you know uh, uh process from the internal things and living by the firewall so these are the few things which are important uh let me go back and see the still uh, uh, this uh, okay so this thing is still running 
So let's go back to the uh, firewall and run the command like cp view. Well, cp view is the great command where you will do the observation for what, what is happening with your CPU, you know, uh, what is happening with your memory, you know, how, how the place is utilizing. Right now, the firewall is at a good condition, and you will see uh, this is the CPU, uh, number of CPUs, and uh, as this is a core environment, so each CPU is you now taking the load and processing the packet. Uh, if we don't have the, the you know the uh, core Excel configure, that time only one CPU taking the load, and that that is something you know a worry part. But latest firewall, they are already having this technology in place. We don't have to enable much on that. So as you are, you are saying, the the processing is there. Okay. Let me quickly stop uh, the this thing thing. Let's see if there is any changes of course. So this is a real time things happening. So as you can see, <laughs> there is no much difference, but somewhere in a fraction, uh, you will see some sort of differences, you know, via processing things, right? Uh, just imagine this is a small uh, amount of uh, data we have transferred, but in case of the large amount of data, what will happen? That is the important part yeah so you have to come here see the things there's a lot more here guys uh, i'll be you know uh, providing more videos on such sort of troubleshooting so guys please subscribe my channel and uh, press bell icon so whatever the latest the upload video will come to you as soon as i'll upload them for this video thanks for watching and i have a wonderful day guys